All right, and we are back. We have just defeated a raider, apparently. Uh, oh, alone, apparently. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's have a look. All right, we've got an unmarried heir. Now, I've been thinking about this. We have a lot of money. Oh, is that castle? Wait a minute, wasn't I building a castle here? What is going on? Did it get cancelled because this place got looted? Oh, you people, seriously? Can I not declare war on these guys? He's not independent? Who's your... I'm gonna attack these guys. I'm gonna stomp them into submission. I am pretty sure that I built, I ordered a castle, but it's been cancelled because, because this place is on fire now. I am not pleased. I'm at war with someone. Oh, what's this? Right, those guys down there. Uh -huh. Forgot about those. I've been thinking about. Um, Maybe we should th start throwing some money this way. Does Grace? Is Grace? Something that's like attached to our kingdom rather than any individual person. Yes, it says there. Will be passed on to your heir during succession. Fine. Okay. You know what? We can launch a relief expedition. Oh, they're in a great famine. Hmm. To deliver supplies and help the Emperor in maintaining the stability of China. What does that actually mean? Yet sending relief to China until 10th of March 904. 10 years. Giving the following effects. National tax modifier minus 10%. Levy reinforcement rate minus 30%. Gained 500 grace with the Zhao um, Empire. Instantly, I suppose. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's just do that. The Protector General of the Heavenly Emperor addresses the letter to the Great Shah of the Karan Shadam. Do I want to call it the Karan Shadam? I mean, the, the Shadam of Kiva. Oh, yeah, sure. Heaven's blessing upon thee. The Heavenly Wu Qiu, Wu Qiu, Emperor Jingzu of the Zhao Empire has graciously received your relief expedition and put their supplies to good use. The generosity of the Karen dynasty will not be forget uh, forgotten. Anything to please the Emperor? No, not anything, but this is okay. <laughs> recently sent relief. You have recently sent famine relief to China. If China is still suffering from a famine, you will be able to send another expedition on... Well, in ten, ten years, yeah. Hands. I don't have any eunuchs to send. I don't have any concubines to send. Is a close relative of yours. Ooh. Now that I'm on Prima, I might as well go mad with concubines again. <laughs> and I don't need to worry about having too many, too many family members, I suppose. Launch a relief, and I'm going to hope that one of them ends up being a eunuch. <laughs> Launch a relief expedition. Yeah, we've just done that. Send artifact. We don't have any. So we can send all our trashy artifacts that we don't want anymore to him. Kowtow before the Emperor. At peace. What is this? We'll, we'll see what that actually does. We, we'll get this peasant revolt going. I mean, it, I know I've, I've been playing for quite a few episodes now and I've not really done any of this yet. I don't want a Chinese physician though. Nor do I want a Chinese artifact. Or do I? Mm. You will receive a random artifact ranging from quality 1 to 3. Losing 500 grace with uh, the Zhao. Is this, I'm pretty sure that's, that's like a J-ish kind of sound. Well, what do I know? <laughs> what I've seen in this other uh, people pronounce it that way. Zhao Empire. You will receive a Chinese artifact. Yes, but how much is it to get an imperial marriage? Has greater or equal to 1000 grace with the off-map power Zhao Empire. 
because my <laughs> my son still needs an, uh, not an heir, a wife, and that would be pretty fun to have an instant imperial princess as a wife. Uh, anyway, let's get over here. In fact, hang on, we've got too many duchies. Let's hand out this duchy to him. He probably hates us because he wants the duchy and we have too many duchies. Yeah, you can have it. Have it! And this Mr. Ambitious, who's probably still trying to fabricate a claim on this, this satrapy of of uh, Tabarisan. He doesn't look very pleased now, but he is pleased within, kind of. Revoke my honorary title. Ah, oh, come on. You can be the spa bud. Here, lighten up. <laughs> he was already a hundred, but whatever. I've got a million of those spa bud titles. Yeah, the sieging was stuff. Oh, my dog is bigger now. Yay, good dog. Oh. <laughs> People are being raided down here. Yeah. Negotiate with Batia. Do it. To the respectful Shah Vandad, my lord, your prosperous lands marks you as Shah of impressive abilities. I have an offer for you which would ensure lasting peace between us. Let me rule the county of Farah in your name and none shall dare touch it again. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna let some Tengri heathen just get a county in my Farah. Is not down here somewhere? No. Where, where is that? County of I don't even know where that is. Whatever. Oh, down here. Right. So it will just be taken from him. For ours is a fine county, indeed. It can be yours for the right price. Offer the county Farah, which is ruled by your vassal Satrap Hazaras, to the adventure party for the price of 310 gold. <laughs> If he accepts, he will become your vassal and you will be protected from raiding adventurers for 10 years. However, your remaining vassals will be displeased, resulting in the following effects. Lose 50 prestige, who cares about that. Uh, this guy's opinion will lower by 60. This guy's way off. Look at his like. Uh, his opinion of me is like way off the charts. Um... All of the vassal's opinions of Shah Vanda changes by 15 for 5 years. 310 gold is tempting. <laughs> it would pay for or refund some cost towards the castle here. You know what? I'm going to do it. <laughs> there, build a castle. Okay. To the clever Shah Vandad, I have considered your offer together with my closest advisor, and I am afraid to say I am not entirely pleased with the terms. Farah is a fine county, but not worth the price you demand. May I suggest a more reasonable sum of 217 gold pieces? Signed, uh, an insulting proposition. No deal. You had one chance. <laughs> Did that change anything with him? Yeah, nothing actually happened. Oh dear. As you pass by the treasury, you stumble upon Herbard Cheyenne digging through your <laughs> through the coppers. Uh, you must have been uh, you must have been quiet as he looks very surprised. So this is where the missing gold is gone. Oh dear, he looks kind of badass. <laughs> Let him go and change for a favor. No, this is this behavior is unacceptable. I'll imprison him. Yes, make him swear to never do it. No, 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 imprison him. Uh, and then ransom him for 25 gold. Get another mobile. He's a court physician, so he's a commander. He's a designated regent of Kiva. Is that my son? Where's his little... <laughs> Sam, I don't even know who my son is. Zia. 
no, okay. Now let's invite a a dude. That. Yeah. Come here. Am I still on the way? Yes, I am. I'm taking a long time. I'm gonna leave that. Put these guys in charge there. There he is. Get rid of these heretics. Ooh. This guy's messed up. <laughs> you gotta fight me. Oh, there you go. You're dead. Ah, the city is complete. I can righteously imprison this guy. Kill Agbad Kavad of Balad Duluk. I don't really care who he is, but have you got a lot of money? No, he's got no money, so there's no point in imprisoning him and r ransoming him. <laughs> Unless we construct a castle or city in the fallen counties, they will refer to the Nova Control on succession. Yeah, well, we're trying to build a castle, but it kind of got destroyed. I think. Unless I never clicked it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong or something. But it did get raided, so there's that. Which is disappointing. I didn't get any refund for it because I was going to sell that. Yeah, I was going to sell that county, but apparently the guy was just being stingy. Uh, are you actually a friend of mine? Yeah, you are. Of course I will come. I was planning on selling his stuff even though he's my friend. <laughs> That's how deep our friendship goes. <laughs> okay, what can we hand out here? Probably commander slots. Yeah, lots of them actually. We'll make this hunter guy a commander. Make this guy a commander as well. And this peasant. Peasant leader guy. Now let's have a look. Any vassals that dislike me? Plenty. What's your problem? Yeah. Actually, speaking of which... I'm gonna revoke your stuff. He hates me because he's sunny. Let's get it started, yes. Carousing. Oh, he's gonna fight me. Oh. Put him up. <laughs> at the last moment, he ran out after throwing a chair at you and making you stumble. You search everywhere but couldn't find him. I don't get that event. It happens all the time to me. I get invited and then I just have a fist fight and then I get them beat, not modified. Maybe it's just as well. I'm not even angry anymore. Maybe I've attacked him. I don't know. The rebelling and carousing is over for now. Time to get back to real life. Yeah, yeah. Thirty percent chance of losing the trait stressed. Nope, of course not. If that was thirty percent chance to die, that would have happened right away. <laughs> it's just the way it works. He's frail. Split up in half. Go to that county there, and then click the button. Revoke. The board is. Call him my allies just for good measure. <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, I need to get some more people under my control. In fact, this is a Safarid revolt. That would be nice to use this opportunity to take even more land from them. He's a Hindu. 
Oh, I'm busy with this for now. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, well done, finally! Excellent. He's finally converted it. His heretics are gone. Nice. Okay, we should siege that down. Which is pretty simple. I think, do I have to stay here? No, it's, it's stay siege, right? Yeah, it's occupied. Okay, me uh, join up. And uh, get rid of the commanders. No attrition events. Do we even still have any event troops? We've got 174, so it's basically, they're all gone now. Oh! Let's see. Oh, yeah, we still got 500. Grace. Pretenders. All these random people. Okay. Okay. Pause it. Oh, and the this this plot ended. <laughs> We're gonna try again. Everyone hates him because he's not of the he's not the right religion. He's a He's an infidel. Um, a focus. Okay, we need a focus. We've got 22 martial. Wow. I'm stubborn, just, patient, diligent, brawny, and a brilliant strategist. Wow, this guy's amazing. Revoke. Yeah. Get married. <laughs> That's his ambition. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's have a look. Can we get ourselves a princess? Pay tribute, send gift, 300, oh my god, 1,392 gold, 0.9, uh, gold, <laughs> for 300 grace, is that really how much princess is worth? Oh, that is a little, I think I'll hold off on that. Speaking of which, now everyone's independent again. We need to quickly launch an attack on the Justinids or someone. Dullifids, actually, they look pretty weak. <sighs> Let's sort out my. Why did you not. Stay the mobile. Yeah, yeah. We need some guy. He's a loyalist, but he's he's angry for not being on the council. <laughs> no, I have this guy in charge. Someone who's decent at counting money. Let's have a look at my vassals. I don't really care about these parent guys. This guy is a yeah, he's there. Oh no! We lost the. Yeah, we've lost it, haven't we? No, no, it's still ah, wrong map mode. <laughs> it re we retained it. Yeah, we retained it because it's in process of building. That's nice. So it doesn't just ignore that. Um, let's go through these things. Yeah, we can do that now. In fact, get over there. We'll do that now. And then we'll check this guy. We'll give him a title. He can be the Sparbod. A Sparbod. One of many. <laughs> oh, that's not one. I click. I've got one friend. And he doesn't even like me by a hundred. Why? Because I'm an infidel. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd overlook differences like that. Council of discontent. Yep, yep. No heir to the dynasty. Yeah, we're going to have to delay the whole getting a princess wife by like maybe one person. Because it's just not... I'm not going to dump a load of money on that for a bit of grace. Do I want even more Marshall just to 
really go crazy. I don't, is, is any more than 22 even going to make much of a difference? It'll give me prestige. There are lots of prestige events with the war focus, so that might help. I can make someone my regent. What about my dad's friend? Him. Opinion of predecessor. predecessor. <laughs> 204. <laughs> I'll make him the designated region. He's just... He's a terrible person. Kind of. But... He loves me. So we'll just go with that. You know, that's the way I kind of play nowadays. I don't usually always... There was a time where I used to try and... Do the absolute best decisions in every single situation. Like, I would always try and search for a genius wife and stuff and... Have some kind of eugenics program to get these grey eminences with tons of stats and elective monarchy, uh, yeah, elective monarchy and all this. Nah, not anymore. Primo and just go for whatever you want. Oh, but then again, <laughs> there's a 16 stewardship attractive one here. And she wants to marry a ruler, so... I mean, there's no one else I can really... Because because my religion, there's no other princesses and stuff available, really. So... Come here! Oh, look at that! Look at this guy. This, looks, this guy looks badass as well. He's a lunatic, though, and he's great, great box. In fact, let's have a look at it first. Let's not just instantly click that button. Can I... Please... Oh god, I hate this that interface. Can I not? Is that her? It is. Okay, let's try this. He says yes. The word is. Hey. Okay. We get 70 gold or 200 prestige. I don't know. What do we want? Prestige comes naturally, I suppose. We always, can always use more money. Castle Town. That's Castle Walls. Ah. Yeah, let's, let's see the tech points, actually. We've got Castle Infrastructure. Improved keeps. There. Castle walls. Yeah, let's build those. Ambition. Groom and heir. Become a paragon of virtue. Uh, I don't really care about that too much. Groom and heir. We need we need kids and stuff. Set crown focus. Do you want to put it on our capital or our other holdings? Let's just put it on all of the holdings. There we go. Oh no, we've got we've got leaders. Yeah, get rid of this. Oh, he's converted another. Oh, excellent! Well done. Really well done. Oh, we can't even move him yet, he's that fast. Right. Yeah, commanders, get get these commanders out of here. No, stop. And I will not lead troops for now. News from China, the Great Famine in China is finally over. Popular uprising of broken heart in Chang'an and large groups of disgruntled peasants have taken up, up arms, led by disgruntled army officers. This is the disgruntled war. Trade has been halved along the Silk Road and China will not be able to defend its tributary states. Okay. Alright. I could use someone to train with. Herbard of Mashad. 
We should totally make him our Mobard. Then he'd be Mobard Herbard of Mashad. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Yes. Fight me. Hi. Oh, yeah. Yep. You can keep that terrible holding. Hmm. What if I grant him the Arg of whatever? Does that swap out the tribal thing for that then? In fact, what happens here? I don't know what happens. Wait, wasn't this on the second level? Because I remember not being able to upgrade it. I think. Um, before we got destroyed. Uh, because usually you can only have one castle, one temple, one city before you're able to buy, uh, build any duplicate uh, holdings. But if we upgrade this to full and then upgrade it to a feudal location, does it get... Will this become a... A county with two castles and then a whatever. We need to figure this out for science. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna revoke this stuff. Uh, yes. He's inviting me now. Let's, let's arrest this guy. Can I revoke his stuff? He'll say yeah. Let's just revoke it. Alright. Do it. He says yes. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now this is the capital holding. But I don't want it. So I'm gonna just dump it on you. What have you got? You've only got... I'm gonna get rid of these eventually. Maybe I should create another vassal? Nah, let's just give it to him. He'll be like a double duke of yours. Uh, what actually is that called? Uh, uh, and all the subholdings. Oh, now it's swapped around again. That's weird. Okay, fine, whatever. Slot for a commander. Astabad. Fat trap. Spymaster. Mayor. Him. He's got some modifiers. Okay. Okay, let's stop here. Let's see now. Dolophids. What's up? Defending against. Defending against. Okay, what is that? A conquest of a county. Bavan did holy war for Jabal. That's him, right? He is in a holy war for Jabal. Are you up against a whole bunch of people? Yeah, you're you're defending against this guy from the Samanid Shardum. You probably are not gonna win, Mr. Ambitious Guy. You cannot stop me. <laughs> he's got no wife, he's got all these holdings, what is he doing? <laughs> Who's is there? Just some random Shia guy, are you kidding me? Controlled realm inheritance. Vassal title inheritance is regulated to just allow a title to pass to another realm. Vassal, ti Vassal titles can no longer pass outside the realm through inheritance. It's like, I might as well do that. Although I never actually felt like it worked <laughs> at least in the past master titles do not have any special regulations on inheritance outside the realm so i mean there's no downsides to that right we're just gonna do that do it but that guy wasn't that i mean that guy's not, not part of any realm, he's, he's just unlanded, but still. We'll, we'll pass that law, just because we can. We can change the obligations, maybe. Maybe we can switch the burgers to be 
a bit more money oriented because you want money from your cities really so so yeah I think well not yet actually not yet so if this guy water revoke hammer down attacking sheep in Dullafid's water revoke hammer down is this a rev a revolt he's independent <laughs> what is going on here you know what I, I'm going to save actually it's been like 30 minutes I think uh, we're going to attack the Dolophids. They're in a whole bunch of wars. It'll be easy. And then we'll continue to subjugate other people again. Uh, see you next time.